Hey everybody, Angry Poncho here, and I've decided that we are not going to go into World 3. Although we, we did bring it out of the ground by just feeding the little plant over there. I've changed my mind, and we're not going to go in there yet. Which I don't know if I had said that I decided to do that or not. But uh, we're actually going to, whoa. We're going to do World 4 before we do World 3. Because World 4 gives us more benefits. So we hover over here and trigger a cutscene. Oh god, Princess Peach is getting kidnapped again. Dude, he's got a big tongue. That's like a friggin' lick -a tongue tongue. And Mario gets blasted by the water from the submarine. That is Pina Island. The villain's what? secret hideout must be there. Wait, isn't that the amusement park world? Why would he have his hideout there? Wait a minute. I was gonna say, it's not gonna put me back over there, is it? No? Alright, cool. <laughs> you wanna go to that island? Alright, then hop in there and I'll cover your, cover your ears. Huh? Okay, I'll try it. I'll try anything once. Wow. Oh, the cannons. I miss the cannons. Peanut Park. Mecha Bowser appears. Hmm. That sounds interesting. Is that like Mecha Godzilla? Yeah, we get it. Oh, isn't this nice? Look at the beach, man. And with a Ferris feel and the mountain in the background. That's epic. Cool stuff, man. So this game does have some beautiful scenery. Very occasionally does a, does a GameCube game look good enough that I'm like, ooh, cool. But this game can do that for me in a couple of the levels. Particularly one later on, it's just so awesome. Hey, 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 get out of here. Dude, dude, I don't even know this level yet. Why are you running away? Why aren't you turning pink when I squirt you? Oh, look at him laugh at us again. <laughs> oh, this is, this is crazy. This is some epic stuff here. What happened? Did the perpetrator get away? Okay, he's definitely Moses. That's my new theory. The guy who was impersonating Mario was actually Moses. Can you guys see how I parted the little la that little pond right there? Ooh. GameCube style fire animation. That's nice. Who are you? Dude, what is that thing? Oh my gosh. Amazing! What a spectacle! Is this a new shore of ours? You guys are great! Whoever hired you needs a raise! I thought you play the fearless hero and he's like a bad version of you, but you both look the same and stuff. Well, as director of this park, I want to ensure your success. So how about I provide you with a hero's vehicle? Follow me! Okay. Oh, awesome. It's a roller coaster. A surprisingly slow and not very thrilling roller coaster. Basically. This fight is going to be us riding around on the roller coaster, shooting rockets off at the, the Bowser like robot over there. That one was actually pretty close. Yeah. And then these bullet bills, which you might remember from earlier Mario games, will come up in front of us and behind us. And all you have to do to get rid of them is squirt them. But here you get good opportunities to shoot this guy. You can hit him anywhere. It doesn't matter where you where you uh, nail him as long as you just get a hit on the on the body or the head or wherever. There's two. That's pretty good. We got another bullet bill coming from in front of us. Oh, and when you run in front of him, you're gonna want to sp spray spray at him because he uh, will breathe fire in your face. So you gotta put the fire out. You're gonna take a hit. There you go. I managed to put it out that time. All right. So now we're going for a second lap. It's a fairly easy fight. The only thing you gotta watch for is that you don't get caught by a uh, bullet bills. Oh, it's too high. I could have killed him just then, I think. So you don't get caught by bullet bills while you're uh, 
have a rocket on your nozzle. Dude, there's a rocket on your nozzle! Get away from me. I'm behind. I don't see one behind us. Oh, there it is. Oh, see, where's the robot? It's just... Oh, gosh, that's crazy. I can't even track it which way is up when, they, when it does that loop to loop Jeez. Oh, God, bro. There's, there's the thing. Let's just hit it again. Get out of here, dude. I already beat the boss. Alright, getting back to Princess. I beat you. Dude, don't wave that paintbrush at her, you little freaking... Turtle? Leave my mama alone, you bad man. I won't let what the hell is this? What? No, you're not! Yeah, Papa told me all about it. He told me my mama got kidnapped by a bad man named Mario. So you're Bowser's son? So I came here to rescue her. So the graffiti... That was you? This is my magic brush. When I draw with this, all my wishes come true. Hmm, I recognize that symbol on the brush. Dude, he's like a little ninja turtle. Pre-teenage mutant ninja turtle. Ah, uh, that was horrible. And now the Bowser head thing turns into a hot air balloon with a propeller on the bottom. That seems a little bit redundant, but okay. It appears to be heading toward Corona Mountain. Really now? Hey, there's a shine over <laughs> I was about to say, that was a long pause before it made the animation. I feel like, hey, there's a shine over there! Ah, let's go get it. Makes you wonder what else is hiding under the fountains in this game. Shine! Alright. Continue. And we head back into the main area. What's it going to show us now? Do we have another level open yet? Nope, we just... Oh, we do have another level open. Wow. Look at that. It's telling us to go to the next level already. No, that's crazy. Man. Oh! Alright, let's get back in there. See what we can do with episode 2 of Pina Park. Which actually is technically, like, <laughs> normally considered to be World 4. We're just entirely skipping Gelato Beach for now. The Beach Cannon's a secret? Oh, this isn't a bad one. At least I don't think it is. Hmm. We'll see. We'll see if I can do this in two minutes. Alright, here we go, guys. Get a good slide. Let's head along the beach over here. I want to get over too close to this cannon so he starts throwing out bombs rather than uh, bullet bills. Cut that crap out. There's a bomb. Come here. Why can't I pick him up? Hey! Hey! Pick him up, Mario! Do I have to wait until they have timers on him or something? I can't pick him up. What the hell? Why can't I pick the bombs up? This is weird. Do I have to, like, kick him or something? Oh, I have to squirt him first. Right. Okay, great. That's a way to lose some time. Pick it up. Toss it into the guy up there. He doesn't like it. Takes a hit. Let's toss another one up there. Whoop! Take the third one, do the same thing. You can return them pretty quickly. If, if, you don't, if you don't let them pile up on you, it's actually pretty easy. And then the cannon explodes and becomes a magical teleport to the Mushroom Kingdom! No, I'm just kidding. It just takes us into like some secret where there's some shrine hiding. Or a shine! Oh, I did it again! Shine! Alright. No time for previews. We gotta do this. Oh, this looks like fun. Jeez. Jump! Oh my god, I didn't think I was going to make that. Oh shit. Run! Gosh, alright. 
There's an extra life over there if you want to get it, but I don't think I have time right now, so I'm just gonna finish the secret. Boing, springy. Shit, don't run to the underneath, underneath. Don't run to the underside of the. Oh, oh, you're kidding me. Her. Try this again. Boing, boing. Don't go that far. Dude, it's hard to keep your momentum correct when you're on these things. Run to the sign, Mario. All right. Now these you have to just sort of like dive slide. Just repeatedly tap B to keep your speed up. The next part's harder because you have to make a turn in the middle of it, so... We'll wait. You kind of can predict it, if you're good. You can sort of tell when it's going to appear. Now the last part, make sure that you run, otherwise you won't get enough speed to make the jump and pick up the shine. See you guys next time on Let's Play Super Mario Sunshine. Yes, I made it fit in 11 minutes!